Good morning. How's everyone feeling today? I'm just generally out. Of, I've been waking up every morning to my kids fighting in the other room. Way down the freaking hallway down there. And you can't... I have PTSD from shit that I don't like to talk about. I'm technically not legally allowed to. Um, should probably delete this video, but I'm just going to move on. Fuck. Um, so, waking up to like screaming and loud noises and shit. Not really my preferred manner of uh, arriving to the day. I don't like to repeat myself within the same sentence I consider it to be poor literary form, so I wind up struggling. I'm a very good writer. I'm, I can write. If I were to read things that I wrote ahead of time, these videos would be very fluid and excellent, but I'm not going for that. I just want to sit here and wag my cigarette in the camera so y'all can see how ugly my face is. And sit there and like, see when the fucking lines show up and be like, holy shit, it's the Shroud of Terror and fucking floating around in front of me. Ooh. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm done, I'm done. Real. I've become illuminated, which is, I have become light energy in this lifetime, not but fucking four and a half, five years ago. Scared the shit out of my wife. Like, she, she, she never do that again, is what she fucking said. You really, you, you, you can't make this shit up, man, I'm sorry. And delusions are not shared among this many people. Uh, well, not without outside help. And there ain't no fucking outside help here. If there was, I'd probably have a... What was that thing I said? A script. The only script I got is how far I can lead my own dialogue in my head and f try to fucking figure out it before it spews out of my face, whether it'll be, you know, informative or funny or worth fucking farting out my flapping fucking lips. There I go with the letter F again. Anyway. So, a lot of people have been wondering, I guess you could say, because it's kind of too hard. You can't really... Are you technically praying if you're asking how to pray? So, you're praying about how to pray. I'd say you're doing a pretty good job already when you're in that moment praying about how you should be praying. Okay. But to elaborate a little further on how people are supposed to pray, and at the risk of repeating myself, because you know I don't like to be redundant, I'm I'm the grumpiest old man. I've I've squirted water on more kids to get off my lawn. Get off my lawn, grow up and become a star. Fuck. Oh, yeah, it's a metaphor. Everything's a metaphor. If you don't realize everything's a metaphor, try seeing with your eyes, like, these things, you know? Naturally. Stop thinking about what you're seeing. And actually, just, let it, just absorb it for a while. Just absorb it for a while. Nature. Not the lies of man, the beauty, and the truth. And the way shit works. And people are nature too. The way people naturally act. The way people naturally tend to behave. People naturally just want to be nice to other people and want other people to be nice to them. It is not natural for people to want to hate each other. They were taught this. So how should you pray? You won't fight, you just won't pray. That's good.
Ukraine is fighting. First of all, don't don't pray on a street corner. Praying in church is okay, but it's kind of like simple instruction for people who are getting to know Christianity. It's not something that a Christian should actually rely on. Okay, if you pray only on Sundays at church, guess what? You're not praying to God. You're praying to vanity. And vanity is an annoying smurf. Yeah. Um, you're only praying because you want other people to see you pray. Okay? And instead of thinking about how you should be praying, and what you should be praying for, who, you pray, who you're praying to, who you're actually praying to, you're like, am I doing this right? Are other people thinking that I'm doing this right? Are they really doing this right? Are they, are they really praying? I don't think about that guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm listening the whole time. Usually I'm laughing. I do a lot of laughing. So, I mean, God, him, that guy, not me, right? Yeah, I'm just. <sighs> so, when you're praying, just try not to be around crap people sitting there murmuring to yourself and those repetitious phrases that these churches use the same kind of things inserted to prayers even protestant even you know churches these days not just catholics okay? it's for beginners all right and again no one should rely on Sunday to fill their cup. Sunday is where you go and show your thankfulness for your cup being filled all week long. Okay? So when you pray, you should be at home, into your, you know, most private, comfortable area, the place that you spend the most time relaxed at. If you work too damn much, that might just be in your bed. Lie down in your fucking bed and pray while you're trying to fall asleep, okay? Everybody should be praying while they try to fall asleep. Because you don't even know that that's when you're really awake. And um, here I'm going to go and just blatantly repeat myself again. So I can explain um, what's in the book of Matthew and paraphrase another. And it's the our father prayer the only prayer that jesus commanded you to pray and there's a reason for that and there's a reason for the little preamble to it that's if you want to read um three very relevant things to read are matthew 6 11 and 23 matthew 6 and 11 is good enough for now okay yeah the whole chapter don't be lazy So, what I want people to understand about me is I pray just like you. Just like you. There's nothing technically that I can do that you're not supposed to one day accomplish. Alright? And, frankly, 
I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. I am not the best at anything. Anyone who challenges me will be defeated on whatever, whatever battlefield they choose. Okay. That's just a joke. Okay. But that's only the result of the definition of ascension. Because when someone achieves pure grace and they become the magnificent creation God wants them to be, well, they wouldn't really fucking be interested in challenging me, would they? <laughs> so, our Father. See, in order to take this form, I separated myself into this body and that of my wife. We have identical DNA. We have thumbprints, fucking... Our hands are shaped the same. Our feet are shaped the same. We're like male and female of the same form. Okay? And... who? Oh. If you've ever caught yourself telling a lie story, like in high school when you're when your brain isn't fully developed and just like some shit comes out of your mouth and like, wait, that, that didn't even, I thought that happened to me for a split second and I started to fucking speak, but that didn't actually fucking happen to me. You might have a soulmate somewhere and that happened to them. If you ever have a dream about being someone of the opposite sex, it might be really awkward too. You have a soulmate somewhere and you should have faith in God that you will find them if you are persevering, if you are humble, and if you pray properly. So, getting back to the fucking point of the video. By the way, to those people who don't like the word fuck, there's these people that are now written as Cathars or Vulgars. They were the real Christians. You murdered them all. People just like you, people just like you. I say the word fuck out of protest of genocide. And if you got a fucking problem with that, God Almighty will fuck you up. Now is the time. There, there is no more wait. The line in the sand was drawn two and a half years ago. And there were even demonic princes who knew better than to challenge me. That is why everything is upside down, right? No, I'm not moving all down with my hands. I just grabbed my coffee cup. The entire time I was just speaking, both those times, the camera went dark, my hands were like this in my lap. Okay. This is, I don't know, fucking comfortable because I have arthritis. I, 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 I'm not trying to make any weird symbols. I, like, between fighting and playing guitar, I have to do finger exercises that, like, stretch me out and. Thing that thing. You ever seen that thing at Spencer's Gift? Oh. Okay, I'm done. But yeah, I've had people sitting there weirding out on my hand signal. Guess what this is? You want to know what this is? You want to know why they want you to think it's evil? Why they don't want you to do it? This is how you can picture time. You can picture a thousand year period. You can picture decades. You can organize and understand history. See, look, like when I do this, I'm thinking of a timeline. Okay? When I'm accidentally doing this, I'm trying to think of a timeline in my head, a sequence of events. Okay, this is not it's it's my hands. It's not even it's, it's, fuck are you monkeys babbling about. It's your hands. The, the, People want to do this so they can look cool. This means I love you in sign language. Dumbass. Oh. <laughs>
It's also the symbol for the Texas Longhorn. Because it looks like a little longhorn. Oh. Cow. Cow. Moo. Hey there. I'm a Texas Longhorn. And I'm not evil. I take big, heaping, grassy shits right on Republican property. Therefore, I am sacred. That's all I like. I mean, I'm thinking of jokes in real time here, people. I can't fucking be any more funny than that. Come on. So anyway. 15 minutes and will I fucking make it like three paragraphs? Good job, so yeah, our father, I have the same God as you do, because our father art in heaven, <laughs> art, art, now, backtracking a little, that is not to say that this can't be used for evil. But when it is, it is blasphemy. Like it's changing time and if so facto traveling through it is a privilege reserved well, frankly only for me. I know that might sound crazy. In fact, I'm certain it does. But, you know, I've freaked a room full of people out when I was just in one position one minute. My dog was laying over there. And then the next time they fucking opened their eyes after just blinking, I was in a different position. Pet my dog laying in between my legs and my lap. And that happened after making a conscious decision to change the timeline. So don't tell me what I can't do. If you've actually read the book of Le Revelation, well, not only would you expect me to be able to do it, but it would kind of prove who I am, the fact that anyone would actually be able to tell you that, yeah, I kind of saw him fucking... I guess time travel, like, what else do you fucking think of that? It'd be like, okay, if you've watched Heroes, Hero Nakamura, stop time, move through it, some shit's different, and just, wait, what the fuck just happened? Well, reality as it currently exists is due in large part to what happened that day with me and my dog, Dingo. Okay? Simple thing. How I roll. <sighs> what I changed was uh, oh, God, a lot of things. <laughs> um, government arrangements dating back as far as the 1930s. 39, 42, 45, and 47. Um, and 49, 52, 58. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is if it wasn't for the baby Jesus, you stupid children would have just destroyed yourselves already many times over. And that kind of all got undone at once and outside of time. I don't know, you'd have to be kind of a quantum theorist to be able to figure that out. Chances are, if you're a quantum theorist, you're not going to fucking believe anything I say. Because you've been taught by the system for way too long. So, God, outside of time, separated himself into his begotten son and his begotten son's soulmate. Okay. 
and the begotten Son, who is now the Son of Man, has to look to God for guidance, just the way any other human being would. That is not only the point and purpose, but that is the mechanism of free will. And if one were to take their head out of their ass and understand what Christianity truly is, you can see a great deal of beauty in a God who would literally condescend and become fragile just to be a good parent to his kid. Yeah, y'all got to go through some fucked up shit, but you know what? We're all in this together. The fact that that has become so hard to understand, the fact that the beauty in that has been lost, and the fact that I'm the only one to point it out, kind of proves everything I say. Because that's simple. And that should have never been forgotten. It's not hard to figure out. Everybody figures it out. Everybody figures it out when they're a child, when they learn. If, if you grow up in a church, a good church, a halfway decent church, even a church that brainwashes you by telling you many, many other things so you forget that pure connection that you find. So God, that I pray to, is outside of time. It is that which created me. Same is true for you. So it's the same relationship. Because inside of time, because inside, I call it, Oh, I get so many sales calls from fucking people saying they can improve my search results and shit. Oh, God. <coughs> I used to own a lot of websites. <coughs> service websites, personal service business websites. <clears throat> Fuck was I just saying? Oh, shit. All right, I got to pause so I can think. So as I was saying, inside of time, is where the consciousness of God is separated into male and female. Created even that, yes. And that is why the gods, plural, the parents of Adam and Eve, are mentioned in the Bible. And that is a trinity. That is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Mary, Mariah, Miriam, yes, hallowed be thy name, hmm, speaking of names, Holy is his name. He is holiness. Not some secret get you in the heaven free card if you figure out the riddle kind of thing. Okay. Can I, can I pat the camera on the head? It's going to be okay. Everything's fine. Just keep listening and stop being a dumbass. I hope. I'm trying. Really am. Well, I'm not trying that hard, but I'm I am trying. So my name is an interesting issue. 
Because if you think there's a bunch of different permutations of Mary, well, <laughs> let's see. You can start with Jesus. And we can go to French. We could say Jesus. Jesus. I sustain, I am. Okay. You can go to back to the even further Gaelic root of that. Jesus. That's in the middle. Then you have J pronounced Y. Because it's Hebrew, because Gaelics are Hebrew. Oh, they're tribe of Hebraic descent. <laughs> But then, if you go and look at, say, the Assyrian Christian Empire, who clearly knew that God and Goddess were in love, and that love is what makes babies, baby. Yeah, I was trying to be cute, but that probably came out a little creepy. Um, <laughs> love. I'm love master, baby master. Okay, I can't rip off other people's stand-up comedy. You've never seen that guy. I don't know his name. He's hilarious. Just look up love master. That is some funny stand-up comedy right there. Love master. master love. <laughs> I'm gonna take a peek at you, baby. Help you, mom. What? My name. Her name? Yeah. Paper of plastic. Yeah. Because Yazus, okay, can also mean the god Zeus. But Yazu meant the god of nature. Woman. Hmm. See, these are things which can be described as Hermetic lie. Why do they call it hermetically sealed? Oh, I think we found another metaphysical metaphor, people. Because Hermes is Hathor. Hathor, the goddess of consumption, lust, the mother of pride, the mother of of deception. Lust. I'm not talking about big titties. Not that kind of lust. <laughs> I'm talking about I care about what I want more than I care about other people's well-being. That is lust. Yeah. The opposite of lust is what I said 2,000 years ago. Do unto others as they would have you do unto Oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying it correctly. I'm not saying it the modern way. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. See, it still has a great meaning. But most people don't know how that that's how it goes. Because they've just added a little unnecessary complexity to it. Hmm. But for those of you interested in how it was originally said, um, do unto others. As they would have you doing to them. Okay. How should I treat this person? Well, how the fuck do they want to be treated? And I just, the modern translation takes it one step further and says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Okay, so it's got a, on one hand, it kind of, if you think about it deeply, you wind up putting yourself in their shoes. But on the surface, it kind of sounds like, is twisted into another selfish thing. Everything's got to benefit you in some way, otherwise you're not interested. I think that's callous. I think that's not the way mankind is made. But what would I know about how mankind is made? So my name. Easiest way to say it. John, I am the porcelain god. Why 
always come to me for forgiveness. I'll never drink again. That's why they call him Johns, man. That's fucking funny. I don't care who you are. <laughs> so. I'm not going to go forwards or backwards. I'm going to, I'm just going to list the permutations, John. As they come to me. My name. Sean. Which is actually. The correct pronunciation. Of John. John. It's like a YSH kind of stupid shit. I have the French spelling of an Irish version of an English name. Got it? <laughs> At least that's what I've been told my whole life. When you're on the Philippines, Sean is spelled X A N. Well, let's go to what everybody told us was true in the 17th, 18th century, shall we? You have Jonah. You have Yona, which means dove. Dove that came down to I. I am came down in the form of a dove. Okay. <laughs> I am came down in the form of John. John and Jesus in those passages are the same person. The other person that you're looking for is Mary. And 50% of the dialogue in the book of John, I'm kind of guessing at that number. I should go review it before I fucking try to give you an accurate one. But a lot of it, about half of it, is dialogue that was spoken by Mary. That's the truth. I can deal with it, you know? I mean, <laughs> I remember it. Nobody else does. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I have kids, okay? I'm fucking goofy. For the sake of sanity in this household, I have to be a goofy bastard because I'm a good father. That's what good fathers do. They fucking act like morons so their children don't cry and fucking whine all the time. <laughs> but anyway, can I start this video bitching about my kid? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What does anyway mean? Anyway? Like a road that goes anywhere? I mean, you say anyway to continue one particular train of thought. But anyway means I should just fucking talk about anything. Anyway. The sleeves of autumn fall upon the lily jacket. Because purple aliens don't wear hats. See, that's, that's anyway. I could go anyway with that conversation. All right, I'm probably boring the shit out of people so I'm going to keep going. You have Johannes, Johan, and different spellings like you wouldn't believe of all those different things. Jonah, Jonah, Jonas, Unas, Urnas. Oh, yes. Uranus, that's that's a permutation of Jonah. Anubis. Which is actually just a fucking mistranslation. But that identity was held pretty true. The judge of soul weighs your heart against a feather. I like the metaphor. The 
purifier. So, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. This is not necessarily a prophecy. This is talking about rule my life. You know, stop letting me fuck up. God, please stop letting me fuck up. I mean, like, you know, let me fuck up and help me not to fuck up. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Okay? Prayer. On earth, as it is in heaven. It's where it's interesting. Now see, the first one is, I think, heaven's plural, and this one is heaven's singular. Okay? Or it might be the other way around. But either way, the same meaning can be taken. So I'm just going to move on. <laughs> um, see, when you're praying, what you're essentially praying for is God to let you be more like your greater self. Okay? The part of you that walks with him, that knows better. On earth. Let me, let me act on earth as I do in heaven. Humble yourself. That's what prayer is about. So when understanding the proper interpretation of the Our Father prayer, focus on humbling yourself. Pretty simple. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Kind of sounds a little demanding, don't you think? I'm kidding, kidding. This this is acknowledgement of an arrangement, both physically and spiritually. Okay. Mother Nature, God's daughter, sacrifices herself for you in many, many, many incarnations. So that you can have a fucking nice prime rib, okay? We love you guys, man. I mean, we're we're tough parents sometimes. But we love you. We love you so much it hurts. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm getting for clumped. Not really. And it's because of this spiritual side, our daily bread, teach us something, you know, give us our daily bread, it, it, it's give us our spiritual life, give us our wisdom, give us our ability to see, not with our eyes, okay? And this is relevant. Because seeing not with your eyes, judging not lest you be judged, is the path to forgiving other people. So you yourselves must not be judged and forgive them. Can, can forgive them. So you yourselves can be forgiven. Kind of, I wanted to like insert things poetically there, and it just didn't fucking work out. And my wife kind of feels nauseated. Sorry. I didn't mean to make that bad of a video, baby. Anyway. Hmm. 
lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. What is temptation? Temptation is lust. What is lust? Like and pity? No. Lust is having more want than love. More want than caring. More want than compassion. You want what you want, and you don't give a shit about anyone else. That's lust. Or you want what you want. And you try to figure out what you can get away with so you don't look bad in your own eyes. Hey there. I see you. <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody. Because that evil is blinding you for a reason. It's consuming the very energy that makes up your consciousness so that it might gain power the same way species of coral breed. So that it might have more points of its consciousness. So that it can manifest me on this planet. And so it can deceive others into becoming its slaves as well. That is the evil that you were asked to be delivered from. When you were asked to not be led into temptation. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Yeah. But, you know. Not to be pretentious. But it's more of a responsibility than a privilege. And to have that in your prayer is a very healthy acknowledgement. One that, like I said, I make from a humble perspective. I make sure that I reduce myself to just a little boy named Sean, and I pray to God Almighty. But that's me constantly checking myself. For those who really want to know about what it's really like to be me. The kid named Sean Morris it was like a hair I plucked. He said, here, go absorb experiences the way humans do. In 2011, when I reclaimed this body, I felt disoriented. My consciousness is not the same consciousness that was in this body before. If you want to sit there and accuse me of demon possession, you're talking to the wrong person. I'm the possessor, not the possessee. I am not some guy who read something one day and decided, oh, I think because I know this, I'm Jesus. I'm not Princess Stephanie. I am not a fucking Russian agent. I am not this dumbass in South America with 666 right on his fucking altar. And what you'll notice is that all of those people are saying the same thing. And all of these things that they're saying are echoes of this entire New World Order conspiracy that is propagating fucking everywhere, every single false prophet. Whether they claim to be Jesus or not. My first thought when I completed entering this body and actually like got my bearings 
was to use my sight, which is kind of like a special ability called Precipia Infima. Okay. And this is an old term for the horizon that's been lost. I think. I'd, I'd love to see if anybody still can find it. Um, so I looked around the entire world. Because of what you've done with me. And when I first entered this world as a boy, before I before my consciousness left this body, and when I split basically to see my um, split timeline for my consciousness, even though my palm is <laughs> my wife's palm. I knew that part of my test for myself that I set up to prove to her how much I truly loved her, she became not that perfect beauty of beauties that ruled the earth and knew everything that I created, she became, you know, like, say for instance, okay, just, just for a second, pretend you're God, and you get to create your perfect lover. That's not fucking fair, is it? Well, that's one of the many reasons why I allowed myself to be voted out about five As far as I can currently theorize, based on what is now known as timeline, you know, I was gone for a thousand years and came back for around seven. And then I was killed. I uh, I can't just insert that bit, uh, that that train of thought ad lib into a video though because there's fucking big demons guarding that shit, okay? And yeah, I have to be fighting them and writing shit down at the same time because well, <sighs> technically the reason why such powerful demons are protecting that information is my fault and. Because only I can get it from the way I'm supposed to, with the whole fulfilling the prophecy and whatnot. Okay, man, this is going way too off the cuff. Um, I didn't mean to fucking talk that much about myself just now. Um, God, I hope you know what you're doing. Hmm. You look me, praying to God, just like you should. And when you find yourself doing something that feels like it's out of love and out of faith, and especially if you feel like you're about to seriously fucking embarrass yourself, you're probably doing the right thing. You're acting on faith. You're afraid of the consequences. The consequences will teach you lessons. I'm not supposed to be getting any more consequences. Yeah. Like, seriously, my, my life is a fucking breeze. I'm so thankful for everything. My wife's going to be mad that I said that because she's at, at, at a jobby job aggravated and shit right now. But I'm not going to be there much longer. We have uh, other plans. We've, we've taken turns working. I get really uncomfortable when she's going working. But right now, 
she's found a job to where it just makes more sense. It's a fucking desk job at an office for a lawyer. Where she's kind of cool with drive a race car. And we're probably going to wind up going into business with this guy. But anyway, fucking babbling. I don't even know if I can upload this. But I'm stupid, so I'll probably fucking do it anyway. I feel like I need a nap. Oh yeah, my coffee cup sitting here and I ain't drinking it. I don't know. I could just be some crazy guy. But there's a problem with that analysis. And here's the deal. There's nobody who wants me to not have this burden more than me. And in 2011, when I just happened to find the girl that I knew from my childhood as being Mother Nature, and I just happened to wake up with these memories, that was the time when everybody saw the light come down in Jerusalem. That was the time when everybody saw angels descending and descending. Well, guess what? They were going to my house. And not only do I have that on a bunch of video, which I think I might go in the other room and start uploading a few of those. But, um, <laughs> after realizing who I was, after realizing what that meant, after realizing how different my truth was from what everybody thinks is truth right now. How different my truth was from the truth that the conspiracy theorist Sean Morris that I used to be knew. Okay. It scared the shit out of me. And it made me want to primary priority number one is debunk this crazy fucking idea. That I'm that. Okay? And I, you know, being, having previously, a few days before that, been Sean Morris, a very, you know, a pretty fart smeller. I'm pretty capable of debunking. I know what kind of analysis needs to be done to objectively figure something out. Okay. And I did this to myself for three months. And the person I aggravated most was my wife. Like, okay. All these false prophets. Do you think they have crises where they pray and cry and ask God to take that responsibility away from them? And, and do you think their wives come in and say, it has to be. You have to do this. Nobody else can. Well, that's what my wife <laughs> kind of like you know what's your job well this is my fucking job okay and um yeah I'm not ashamed I'm getting paid for it now I actually gave my daughter a nice fucking birthday thank you everybody by the way
thank you for clicking or fucking watching trailers and shit. Thank you, my Layla had a very nice birthday. You can even see uh, the, well, the laundry area was kind of fucking messy. We still got the freaking big pink freaking uh, princess tablecloth on the on the kitchen table because well, me and my wife eat in the living room, so the girls can have a nice tablecloth and be all pink and princessy while they have dinner. Thanks, everybody. And um, I'm not ashamed of it because, frankly, if you got somebody who's willing to put an hour into making a video, I'd be wondering whether their sense of humor was fabricated. Unless they were trying to collect a few fucking dollars for it. Okay? See, I know that not everybody who watches this is going to believe a fucking word I'm saying. But I know even the people who don't believe a fucking word I'm saying really don't know what the fuck to make of me. Spirit pressure, son. Guess what? You ain't got none. Not without. Not. I can teach you a fish. But I ain't catching a fish for you. See, yeah. People don't even consider logical thing when they logic their way out of believing in Christianity. Okay. But the whole idea about faith is free will. See, if God was an asshole, then he could just make people believe in him. Okay? Not like some psychic fucking domination thing. You're not thinking, my friend. You're not seeing the obvious because you're spiritually blind. If God, if Jesus, proves his existence, that defies what God wants for his children, which is free will. Because... If you saw God, like, you know, hey, look, there's God. It'd be pretty safe to say that anyone who even thought of becoming an atheist was a fucking moron, okay? And people generally have no choice but to avoid being a fucking moron when they are made consciously aware of it. Therefore, you would have no choice but to believe in God. And well, it's not like there's much fucking wiggle room on where you go from there once you can see. Just plain as day, obvious. That, oh, there's God. Okay? That's oppressive. The idea that you have to, like, have such an oppressive delusion in your head of what God should be and ignore what God's will and what God's plan is just to convince yourself that there isn't a God. That's fucking... That's kind of fucking pitiful. <laughs> like, I don't believe in God, but I've never actually contemplated what I what he was like. What the fuck spirituality. Yeah. But I've decided that I don't believe in God. Dang, dang. Wait, hold up. Atheists still are pretty much the dumbest fucking people. Okay. But it's not obvious, so it doesn't encroach on free will. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I covered my own ass. Yeah. One hour? Oh, yeah. Okay. Turning the brain off now and turning the fucking camera off now. If you actually sat through this and you, uh, haven't subscribed already, you should probably go ahead and subscribe because I am not always this much of a moron, but sometimes I can be even more of a moron. And that's hilarious, especially when you realize that I actually am me. Makes this shit even funnier, okay? Wait, you're not you, then who am I? But 
I mean that sincerely.